again and welcome to my channel. I'm Naveen. Um, this video is going to be an update video on my Uni Wigs Claire Human Hair Mono Hair Topper. Say that five times fast. <laughs> I think I said that before in my last video. I wanted to do an update video mostly because my first video was, well, was my first ever video on YouTube, so my top of my head was a bit cut off, the lighting wasn't great, um, and I had no idea what I was doing. I mean, not that I know what I'm doing now, because I still have no idea what I'm doing, but I think at least this time I'm more in frame and you can actually see the top of my head, <laughs> so I figured I should give an update. Also, because I've had it for over two months now, I wanted to, I was thinking of starting a series on all my hair toppers with um, review updates. So I like to post like day one unboxing, wearing it for the first week or two, how would I think about it and stuff. And then several months later, a second update on how it's faring, how it's doing, if I still love it, if I'm still wearing it, how, you know, how many washes has it had, that sort of thing. And then I was thinking also then at the one year mark, doing it again, you know, if the topper has survived that or the hairpiece has survived that long. So um, let me know what you think. Do you think that you'd want to see that? I mean, when I was shopping for top hair toppers and wigs and stuff, especially the human hair ones, they're so expensive that, yeah, there's, you know, I, I loved watching all the unboxing reviews and everything when if you first, you know, receive and it's shiny and it's gorgeous and, you know, but then after the silicone gets washed out, you know, what does it look like? How does it, how does it fare after several washings? Um, after wearing it several times a week or several times a month, what, what does it look like after two months? How long does it last before it starts shedding? How long? Basically, how far you can stretch the cost of it. So I thought that would be, you know, useful for videos for other people so that, you know, you know how my pieces are faring. So yeah. Anyway, she's gone through quite a few customizations. She started off as, you know, um, like in the first video. And I had a long fringe cut into her and layers throughout and I had the front thinned out a bit. She's, I, I washed her recently and she's air dried so that's why she's got a bit of a wave and some, you know, a little bit of um, poofiness. I kind of like it like that. Sometimes I'll, you know, straighten it or I'll curl it and she styles really well. But when I'm really lazy or I'm in a rush or I don't have time, I air dry her. I really still like her. I've been wearing her at least three times a week. She's gone through several washes. I've curled her, I've straightened her. I, uh, you know, I wear her up. I call her her because her name's Claire, so that makes it easier, you know? But yeah, she she's survived really well. She hasn't sh really shed. The hair is still soft, you know? And I still really enjoy her. Let me show you the inside and everything, like I did before, but you know, that video wasn't the best. <laughs> Hopefully this one's at least a little bit better. It might be a bit more helpful than the other one, but yeah, let me know in the comments if, you know, you'd be interested in me doing these kind of update videos on my pieces. But here's the inside of the cap. It's a five by five, four clips, two on the top, two on the bottom. She is a mono top. This is what, I, I parted her down the middle this time. I know in the first video I side parted her, but when I had the fringe, the long fringe added in, I just stuck to the middle part. But yeah, she is really doing well. And she's still so as soft as when I first got yeah, I'm still off. really enjoying this piece. And yeah. Oh, and in the other video, I know when I was showing my... Let me put it back on the mannequin. I know in the previous video when I was showing my, the top of my head, you couldn't see it that well. And like I said, it was my first time ever recording anything. And hopefully this will be better. But I have androgenic alopecia. So female pattern hair loss. So my hair loss is predominantly like down the center, though I do have some patches of loss and thinning this. I'm overall thin hair, but hopefully this time you can see more clearly what I'm dealing with. I have been on minoxidil for several years, and I have a feeling that if I wasn't, this would be much worse. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to stay on it. I'm going to do another video on my experience with minoxidil for years. And to be honest, I'm starting to think I might just stop it now that I've found hair toppers and helper hair. 
and just stop it all together because the cost and having to do it every single day is is yeah so but I'm gonna I'll record it I'll do another video on the whole minoxidil and everything but yeah, this is this is what my hair looks like I have a lot of little I don't know if this is regrowth or breakage but they're like little spiky bits in the front and my loss has started to spread here a bit more so yeah that's what I like about the Claire she's a lace front so I can push her all the way to the front rather than having to pull out my hair to blend it in if I wanted to if I was in a rush and I didn't have time to try to blend in my, my, my hair in the front and stuff and I'll just run out like that it's totally cool you know so let me put her on disclaimer like in the first video I am visually impaired so if I'm not looking at the camera or I'm doing things differently than others or I need to put things straight you know really close to my face it's because I can't see very well I I'm gonna record another video on my sight loss to explain further on that but yeah I've got a few more videos coming up the way I put it on is put my fingers on the part find my part feel it out so I know my pinky finger in the front feel it out make sure it's centered feel out the tip of my pinky finger where my natural hairline is and then I know to drop the lace there and then I'll clip and then clip and I'll feel out to make sure I've got it in the proper place now before I clip it in, I sprayed a little bit, I sprayed earlier before I started recording, the Whey Texturizing Spray. Um, I might do a video on start to finish on what I do to my hair, because I do also use, I know, hard to believe considering how flat my bio hair looks, I use Volumizing Mousse and I use some other products because I like to add a bit of, as much volume as I can to my bio hair so that it's it's more it has more grit and more um, volume underneath the topper so it, you know adds a bit more lift to the topper you know but I'll do that in another video but I, I use a way texturizing spray in the areas of my bio hair that I'm going to clip the clips into because it really helps with tugging pulling moving around the the pain because my hair is so fine and thin it does like, you know, I, I don't have a lot of, you know, I don't have a thick hair. So my hair is so fine and thin that anytime I clip it in, it can move around, you know, without the spray. And it'll tug, it'll pull, it'll cause a bit of pain and a few headaches. So I find using this is like really helpful and beneficial. So hold on, let me brush out my hair now. I do have a fine tooth comb if I want to blend in my hair topper. Oh! When I brush out my hair topper, I made this mistake with my first hair topper. I didn't know this. I didn't have, you know, a lot of information on it. I was fresh to it, you know. So I just started brushing while it was on, and it tugged on my bio hair, the, the fine hair, and it ripped so many hair. Make sure to put your hand here and then brush, because if you have, you know, very fine hair like I do, and you start pulling at the bottom like this with a hairbrush, especially if you run into like a little knot, it's gonna pull and it's gonna hurt. And you don't want that. You don't wanna, you know, rip out more hair <laughs> and cause pain. So yeah. And then make sure to brush it together to get your bio hair mixed in with the topper. And this is me with my hair topper on with the long fringe that I had customized I like it I like the fringe I think it also helps with blending it in so really it, it helps to add a fringe and it helps to customize whatever piece you get like you know you may not like the piece right out of the box you'll put it on your head and think you know it just looks like a dead squirrel on my head you know and it's just laying there and you don't like it you don't enjoy it don't you don't panic you you, you need to customize it to really make it yours you know change the part add some layers take it somewhere to get it cut get it thinned out add a fringe if you really you know you want to have a fringe I haven't had a fringe since I was like a kid so being able to have one now has been amazing and it really it's it's I love it you know <laughs> 
And if, you know, you have thin hair, you totally will understand and relate to not being able to have a fringe because you just have like three hairs that just sticking in the front. I'm not very fond of having that look, so I haven't been able to wear a fringe until now, thankfully, to help her hair. But, oh, let me talk on the details. But if I forget anything on anything about this, like the details on this hair topper, I'll list them down in the description box below. The color is G2 uh, Dark Coffee Brown. I believe. If I, if I get it wrong, either, I'll put it on the screen somewhere. She's 16 inches long, 130% dense. I've been wearing her, like I said, for about three to four times a week, especially in the summer because she's a mono top. She's a lot more lighter weight than my silk tops. So I've been really gravitating to wearing this one in the summer. And also, I'll show you, like, I'll do another video on what hairstyles I like to do and how I like to style it because I use the Dyson Airwrap. So, I'll show you like one quick hairstyle I like to do. Basically, clip in her mouth. And you don't have to put it in your mouth. This is like, I have it. Twist up the hair. I'll do another video on like exactly how I do this if anyone's interested, but it's not a thing fancy. Clip it in. Lots in the hairs, fringe forward. And quick clip hairstyle just to get your hair up a bit out of the way. Yeah, that's how I've been pretty much wearing this. I have more pictures on Instagram. I'll put my handle down here on how I've been using and wearing my Uniwix Claire Monotop hair topper. If you'd like to see, like, you know, how I've been wearing it, the, how it looks from start to finish. Like, I have several pictures of how it looks straight out of the box and just the side part. And then I have several pictures of it as it was customized with a fringe and everything else. I also want to, I'm also planning to do another video on hair accessories and that sort of thing. Basically, I have plans to do a lot of other videos. Hopefully, cross my fingers, things. <laughs> but yeah, I'm getting, hopefully I'm getting better at this sort of thing. But yeah, if you enjoy this video, please uh, subscribe and like. And if you have any requests or you want to see anything specific or talk on anything specific, just leave it in the comments or you can contact me on Instagram. I've also started a blog website. You can check it out at naveen.co.uk or naveenwood.com. I couldn't decide on a domain, so I got both because they were like on sale or whatever. But yeah, I regularly update on my blog how um, the reviews on hair products I've been using on these pieces um, because I like to try a lot of different hair products. And also, I've got a series on cheap Amazon wigs and that sort of thing. So, yeah. Check out my blog if you want to, I mean. Oh, and I have a 15% off coupon code that uh, Uniwigs gave me. This this piece was gifted. I forgot to mention that, but I mentioned in the first video. I'm, I'm not trying to hide anything. It's in the description box. This piece was 100% gifted for me for review. and But my review is 100% my own. I, you know... I really do like this piece. I have a 15% off co coupon code. It's Naveen. I'll put it on the screen and I'll put it in the description box. I don't get anything from the co the the using using the coupon code, so it's um you can use it if you want to. You don't have to, but yeah, I'll leave the link and everything and the code and all the information down below. But they always have sales as well, so I mean, but I would definitely recommend this if you're starting out with toppers and you want something lightweight with a small cap. Um, soft hair and doesn't break the bank. It's been over two months now, just, yeah, I think like three months actually. Yeah, it's, it's definitely been a couple of months and she's still looking great and she still feels great. And I, I wear her so much. So I definitely recommend her. She's standing, she's uh, surviving the test of time so far. But I will be doing an update video in a few more, a couple of months down the road, and how she's faring then, and see how she looks in a couple of more months. So, bye!